H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Okay, so yeah, now we are going to discuss some important topic here, which is going to be there definitely for sure. What is collections framework in Selenium? Okay, actually it is not in Selenium, it is in Java. All right, this collections framework is a concept of Java. Okay, this has got this is not related to Selenium as such. So the uh, mainly it is coming from Java only. So collections framework is a combination of two words, framework and collections. Because framework is going to appear in your programming career a lot many times. Framework means a set of rules which you are following. That is a framework. So collections framework means when you have to make a collection, when you have to group similar things together, Okay, and the rules which you are follow, which are followed in creating a collections that is called as collections framework. Okay, people are going to ask you definitely about this. What is a collections framework? So in collections framework, we mainly deal with array list, linked list, hash set, and hash map. Of course, it is not limited to these four only, but there are many other as well. But in Selenium, we are mainly dealing with these only linked list, array list. Uh, it is list. Sorry. Okay, so uh, it is not LISY, it is list. I'll change it here. Right, so it is array list, linked list, hash set, and hash map. Okay, so what are these array list and linked list? List is an interface which has these classes link linked list and array list as its classes okay similarly set okay here again this is one spelling mistake here hash set and hash map this hash set and hash map they again belong to interfaces set and map so now what do, they, what do they do? They help us to group similar things together, as, as I told you. So what is the difference between them? Why do we have different kinds of collections here, like linked list, array list, hash set, and hash map? What do they do? Linked list and array list, both of them, they allow you to include values to create list. And it maintains the insertion order as well. First of all, uh, array list, and okay, someone may ask you what is the difference between array and array list as well. Okay, so what is the difference between array and array list? A an array has a fixed size. Array has a fixed size, whereas array list or linked list or hash set or hash map in collections framework when you talk about, you don't talk about the fixed size. They are dynamic in nature. Their size keeps on increasing as you as and when you keep on uh, putting the values. Okay, their size keeps on increasing. So that is the best property they have. Okay. Secondly, the second question which may be asked to you is what is the difference between linked list and array list? The difference is linked list is good for manipulating the data. Okay. Of course, there is uh, the difference which you can dig deep into it and you can find out how the data is being stored inside them. Okay. But you know, there is no need to go into that detail that many that much detail you just you know must know that linked list is good for manipulating the data that is if you want to modify the data then you should be using linked list if you just need to access the data if you just need to retrieve the data then you should be using array list all right so that is one big difference between linked list and array list and coming about hash set and hash map, if someone asks you what is the difference between hash set and array list, hash set does not maintain insertion order, plus it does not let you to enter duplicate values. But linked list and array list maintain insertion order and you can add duplicate values inside linked list and array list. 
Okay, same is the case with hash map as well. Hash map does not maintain insertion order. It does not let you enter duplicate values. Okay, so different between array list and hash set is array list means maintains the insertion order, hash set does not. Array list allows you to add duplicate values, hash set does not. Okay, where do we use it? Where do we need to use collections framework? Typically, we need to use it in a situation where we need to find out where uh, whether all the links are working or not on our page. Okay, that kind of situation we are going to use the collections framework. Okay, so Okay, I'm getting uh, a repeat over this. All right, so let me just write it on a Word document. Just wait for a moment. Okay, so this is something which you should know very well. Array list and linked list. So array list is it is good or it is it can be used when we need to retrieve data it is used linked list is used it is used when we need to manipulate data All right of course you can search in google the other differences as well they're very you know uh, deep we don't need to go into that detail like how the you know uh, indexes are being created how the data is being saved inside array list and linked list we don't need to go into that detail but for out of curiosity if you want to do you can search it on google but to answer the question in interview this is enough array list is to be used when we need to retrieve data and linked list is to be used when we need to manipulate the data okay now what is difference between array list and hash set or hash map let us see okay, why is it not letting me do that array list and hash set okay so array list uh, array list maintains it maintains insertion order Okay. insertion order means suppose I enter the values okay, I'm creating muted unmuted muted unmuted okay, I'm creating a list of cities okay, and I add the values like Paris and the first number I enter Paris then I enter uh, New York okay. then I enter say Tokyo okay so three cities 
have been entered into a list the order is first i added paris new york and tokyo if you print this in an array list you're going to see this okay oh, i may have a program here let me show it to you just a moment i'll show it to you on the screen close tabs to the right okay so here i have an array list in which i'm adding uh, cities london paris miami uh, tokyo new delhi atlanta paris okay if i execute this one so you can see uh, just ignore these lines we'll see what is that but it is printing all the names of the list in the same order in which they have been added london paris miami tokyo new delhi atlanta paris so these cities are being printed in the same order as they have been added this is called as insertion order that is the insertion order is being maintained okay that is what we call as insertion order but if you talk about hash set it does not maintain insertion order okay so if i open hash set okay so here i'm creating a list of cars i just remove this okay i'm creating a list of cars here and if i execute this you will see first of all the order is not being maintained it i added audi toyota ferrari audi but it is printing ferrari toyota audi so the order insertion order is not being maintained this is the first difference second is it does not allow sorry it allows to have duplicate values but hash set does not right so let's see it okay, when i'm running it uh, on array list in array list we have paris being repeated okay so it is also coming at line number 10 and line number 15 so paris is being repeated if i execute this one i see paris is being printed twice in array list but if i see it in hash set if i execute this we have audit twice here but it is going to print it only once so hash set does not allow you to have duplicate values same is the case with hash map as well hash map does not allow you to have duplicate values that is the first thing second it also does not maintain insertion order but it takes the value in the form of key value pairs okay key value means like you have it in telephone directory that is what we call as key value pairs okay name tele name number name number so that is key value pair Okay. hash map also does not maintain any insertion order there is no insertion order maintained in hash map as well okay so here we have hash map if i execute this one okay, you can see steve which was entered at second place is coming first john which was entered at first that is coming second fred which was entered third which is coming at third but you can see here also it is not repeating this stuff Okay, it is not repeating the values plus the insertion order is not being maintained so these are hash set hash map link list and array list now the point is where do we need to use them how do they, where do they find the usage in selenium so in selenium they find their usage typically when you have to create a collection of certain type of web elements for example there is one website uh, that is called as barnes and nobles yeah. Just a moment. Okay, this one uh, website called as BarnesandNoble.com. It is a you know you can say Amazon of books. So on this web page, if I have to find out whether all the links are working or not, how would you do that? For that, we need to create. We need to use list interface. Okay, in certain uh, using this list interface, we're going to find out 
how many uh, links are there on the web page okay and then we're going to check whether they're working or not okay we'll be writing a case okay we will be writing the code to find out whether the links are working or not okay so in in those situations like on this web page i do not know how many links are there on the web page i cannot declare an array to contain all my links so what will i do i'll create a list of all the web elements because the list is dynamic in nature and so is set and so is a map so a list or a set or a map are dynamic in nature so i'll be using a list here because we when we use driver dot find elements by dot tag name a its return type is list so when we use that it is going to create a list of all the web elements which are uh, starting with anchor tag and that is going to be our links on this web page so it is going to find out all the links on this web page in these situations in these kind of situations where you are unaware about the number of web elements which you need to check you are going to use collections framework now your requirement may vary okay if you want to include only the unique elements you are going to use hash set okay if your requirement is such that you need to include two values okay like key value pairs are to be used then you're going to use hash map okay if your requirement is such that the duplicate values are allowed but i want to see how many total values are there including the duplicates as well so you're going to use list right so it will depend upon the requirement a typical scenario i've given you when you have to find out whether all the web links on a web page are working or not you are going to use list interface over there okay hash map will be used when you need to create two values when you need to find out two values link uh, key value pair format okay and hash set will be used where duplicate values are not allowed so using these properties we will be using this collections framework